They're telling Channel 9 that a woman injured when her apartment building caught fire actually has now had to be taken to a burn center in Winston-Salem. That fire early Saturday morning on Yeager Creek Drive is one of dozens of major fires in Charlotte in the last 10 days. And when Channel 9's Tina Terry started asking about how many there have been, she found the Charlotte Fire Department is concerned about this too. Hey, yeah, guys, victims of one of the more recent fires very upset tonight. That's because they say their neighbor is still in the hospital tonight and firefighters here are using this as an opportunity to warn others. It's shocking. I mean, I think I'm still in shock. Beth Miller was asleep in her Southwest Charlotte apartment on Yeager Creek Drive when the fire broke out. She ran to safety and then realized her elderly neighbor was still inside. So I start pounding on apartment A. She wasn't coming. She says firefighters came to the rescue and her neighbor was rushed to a burn center in Winston-Salem. She got burnt on her hands. She got inhaled that smoke and because the fire was so hot, it burned her lungs inside. This is just one of 12 fires in the past two weeks that caused serious damage. Seven of them were house fires. Five were in apartment complexes. Two were set intentionally. The rest were accidental, mostly due to cooking, electrical, and heating issues. There's been a lot more recently than we have had in the last six months. Fire officials want people in the public to take this seriously, saying their actions could impact the lives of other neighbors. Make sure that uh, there's a, a working smoke alarm outside of each sleeping area. Don't leave your cooking unattended. Don't go lay down when you're warming something up on the stove. It's a message they've been communicating via social media, hoping people pay attention. This was too close to home. And neighbors who witnessed these most recent fires are listening, hoping to prevent this tragedy from happening to anyone else. I I'm very grateful that everyone survived it. And a firefighter was also injured in that fire, but he had minor injuries. He's doing OK tonight. As for that elderly woman, she is still at the burn center, we are told. And of course, her neighbors hoping that she recovers quickly, Allison. Yeah, we are too, Tina. Thank you for that report.